guys, so last night my boyfriend and I went to go stay in a cute little trailer in the mountains and I thought I would tell you about it. and I had to be work at 8 a.m. the next day so we didn't really have that much time especially since it was an hour away but nonetheless it was a really cool experience so we spent most of the morning uh, going to the store getting all these last-minute things that we needed packing up and just getting fully ready for it <laughs> some cappuccinos, sit on the porch and just hang out for a bit. Oh, I know that you'll go, my love, love. After that, Ricky started the fire and I cleaned up our mess inside of the camper. They had some firewood that they provided, even though we brought some as well. I had Maverick tied up on his lead and he was having a blast just chewing his bone. Think of that, my dream. It had a cool little fire pit with some chairs as well as some chairs that leaned back on the porch and even a grill but we didn't end up using it because it was kind of cold out so we missed mostly stayed inside when it got dark. Our hands were all right, so you've got the steps that come up here, a little welcome floor mat, and then we have this like little patio area where we have two chairs and a little table. And then this is the actual camper. There's like little Christmas lights up, which are super cute. As soon as you walk in, there's the couch. Let me kind of come over here so you can see it. So the couch converts into a full-size bed, which I'll show you later on. You have like a little nook, some books. We just put our stuff down. And then I've got like Maverick stuff, cute little tree, some outlets. Um, and this is the kitchen space. The kitchen space is pretty cute. Like I'm obsessed with it. And it's quite spacious. I wasn't really expecting that. So uh, we just made some cappuccinos, which everything worked really well. It was super easy to navigate. We've got some of the things we brought back here in the corner. Came with like the rules and stuff. Not the rules, but like how to how to do things. And then over here we've got Maverick really wants to come inside. Maverick! Hi! <laughs> Hello! Also on this side is the refrigerator. And then the bathroom, which we'll get to. Oh, I know that you'll go my the couch pulls out to a full-sized bed, and then the dinette fold, folds down to be a twin-sized bed. Unfortunately, we couldn't sleep together. That's really the only bummer about this trip. The full-sized bed just wasn't big enough for both of us, so I slept on the twin, and Ricky slept on the full. Think of that, my dreams, my dreams. Later on in the evening, we decided to make some Beyond Meat burgers and they were so good. Dreams, I hope one day and I want to hold your hands when it is cold. So I wait, but you hate 
after that, we went out to the fire pit and made some s'mores. You have so much to say. By this time, it was dark, but it was only about 6 o'clock. We made s'mores, we went back inside, kind of to pack up for the night, laid down the beds, and then we watched a movie. There was a DVD player that they provided as well as some DVDs, so we just chose one of the movies that they had and watched that. For you, I'm true. I have so Yeah, it wasn't a very good movie, but it was really fun to watch it. After we watched the movie, we were both exhausted, so we just decided to go to bed. We woke up at 5 a.m. and we wanted to make cappuccinos and avocado toast, but there were two reasons we decided that we weren't going to do that. One is because we think the propane was out and we didn't want to worry about switching it over because both of us are kind of unclear on how to do that. So. And then we also kind of woke up a little bit late. Well, we woke up on time, we just got out of bed late. So it was kind of, we just didn't have enough time to do it. I did make avocado toast for us as soon as we got home, so. And then we drove home. But I'm yours, my love, and I'm gone. It was still dark whenever we left, but it was so nice and so peaceful to be able to just get away even for one night not even 24 hours and i really suggest that you guys do this also if you guys want to stay in the camper that we stayed in i'll link it below it was on airbnb the host is so sweet she's the nicest person she had a little welcome thing she even gave us treats for maverick so it was a really nice experience the host was nice the experience was great and overall, I would definitely suggest it. So if you're in the East Tennessee area, I would definitely check out that camper. The only thing is, it says that it's secluded, but there's still a lot of houses around. You can kind of tell in the footage. So I would not say it was secluded, especially since it's winter and the trees aren't covering the houses. But it was still a really nice experience. And I think we only saw like three cars drive by the whole time we were there. So. So that was my experience there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.